Go. Hello everyone, welcome to Nicole Cycling. I'm Bradley Wiggins, and I'm gonna be talking you through a session today, which is about 16 minutes long, and we're gonna hit all the zones, go through all the numbers, just for short periods, because this session's really about opening up for a pre-race ride, maybe the day before a ride, um, or a tough session you've got. Or even if you just come home from work, and you haven't got the motivation to train. I mean, half the, half the restrictions around training are, you know, if you've got an hour to do or two hours, it's, you know, I can't really be bothered to do it. So 16 minutes, you can jump on if your time, time constraints and um, just get it done, get a sweat on, feel good about yourself. At least it's better than nothing. So yeah, as I say, 16 minutes, just ramping up for all the zones, your threshold capacity, better zone three. So we're starting off now with two minutes, first two minutes. Just easy, really. This is, as I say, it's just a warm up. This, this is almost an effort in itself, but it shouldn't be too hard. It creates too much fatigue if you are going to do a threshold session or quite a hard road ride. It's a good warm up for a time trial. This, pretty much the same length or distance that we used to do for a time trial in a Tour de France or something like that. It's predominantly about 16 minutes to 20 minutes long. Um, so, yeah, this first bit, as I say, is a warm up. Chris Boardman always used to tell me when he was looking after me. You know, it is a warm-up. Isn't you shouldn't come off from a warm-up fatigued because obviously you take that fatigue into onto a start ramp or a start gate or a start of a race. So it's just about getting the body ready to prepare itself to go through the execution of the effort you're about to do. So yeah, just coming up to the end of the first two minutes here. It ramps up a bit after this. We're gonna ramp up another 30 or 40 watts. So we're just touching on all the zones right through to capacity and then um, just as it starts getting hard we stop and that's the end of your warm-up so there we go just take it up a little bit in a minute so we're up to the next level now so two minutes at this now i try and just keep the cadence around 90 rpm lots of people do stuff about 100 but 100's old school 100's like 20 years ago a bit less efficient. Lots of people doing a lot more torque efforts now. We used to do quite a lot of that Team Sky. 50 RPM for sustained blocks of up to an hour. High numbers, just creating a lot of muscle damage. And subsequently, when you come back to time trial and then around 80 RPM, it's like driving a car in sixth gear on the motorway rather than fourth. Just nice, just nice. There we go. Hold that, hold that. For this session, you could even do it without a fan. You just get a real good sweat on, get everything opened up. Especially um, if you just use it as a pre-race ride. It's quite good, you don't hold too much water going into the day after. Get all your veins showing at the end of it. Quite nice, not getting in a sauna. Come on to 30 seconds before we ramp up again, another 30 odd watts. So these are just little two minutes here, so. Just focus on the RPM more than anything, to be honest. These early ones. Should go quite quick, because you just concentrate, it gives you something to do, rather than just getting on the bike and riding for 20 minutes and not really feeling like you've achieved much. Just Doing a bit of structure in it makes it a little bit more clinical, like you feel like you've done something sort of a bit more training worthy. Actually, you'll probably get to the end, you want to do it again, which you can do, you can do it twice. All of a sudden, feeling like a piece of shit because you didn't go out for an hour, ain't the end of the world, is it? Just concentrating on them RPM. If you focus on the RPM and change the gears accordingly, rather than your RPM creeping up through the zones, that's another good way. So it gets more torquey, more, more amount of torque as you get up to the capacity. So when we're up there higher later on, there is a tendency as you go up through the numbers to increase the cadence. But if you can focus on just keeping that cadence, it becomes much more of a, of a strength session as well. 
And you can, you can alternate as well. If you're using this as a pre-race ride for a track race, something like that, or a track session, you can go higher cadence, because obviously there's higher cadence on the track. You can really spin out, flush the legs. Likewise, if you're doing hill climb champs, or a hill climb, or a time trial, you can really get the RPM down, and just, you can almost use it as a strength session. You can just play around with the RPM. As I say, it's only 16 minutes. So, you can toy around with it all. We're going for 90 today. Nice time trial RPM. 30 seconds and we're going to just ramp up again. So already we've done nearly six minutes here, see? Half the uh, problem sitting on turbos is quite mundane. And um, it's a bit boring. Obviously with Zwift now and structuring a session, you don't even have to look out. All the other people are running, of course, bloke here with green wheels, just about crashing to him. Get out of the way. There he is, don't know who that is. One of the Richmond Park Massive. Here we go. Could be Matt Barbeck. <laughs> right, into the next two block now. See, just focus on that RPM. Keep it at 90. If you need to adjust the gear as the power comes up, as I say, rather than letting that RPM creep up, so it's a, by the end, it's gonna feel real sort of torquey and strength-wise. Really opening up all them capillaries and muscle recruitment. And if you're using it for a race day, Try and think about your position a bit more. Lots of people tend to sit up a bit like this, you know. If you just sort of think how you're going to ride in a race, you know, it's a really good sort of mental routine. You know, if it's a time trial, forget riding your time trial bike on it. You know, you can, just, you can always use sort of just sit on the bars and focus. It's as much about you know tuning in mentally to the effort rather than sort of taking on the you know. Just think about dropping your heels, getting right back, and dropping them arms. Seven minutes in now. <clears throat> so we're getting into this zone three block now. This is uh, zone three kind of, everyone's numbers are different of course, but this is the real stuff that gets you fit. So by just tapping onto this for two, three, four minutes, it's not long enough, it's gonna create a lot of damage and fatigue, but it's long enough that it's just gonna get sweat on, open everything up, this sort of stuff, we used to call it SAP at Team Sky, sustained aerobic power. We used to, this was the mainstay of our training. Big days, we do it individually, not as, not as a group. You know, there's a tendency as cycling teams to go out and train all together. You sit in the wheels most of the time, you don't do any work. So I quite often do five hours on my own. Um, first hour warm up, in the middle of three hours, however much you can sustain for three hours. I think my best was 363 watts. In 2014 and that becomes a competition with yourself I've got a phone call it's Dave John it's the bit it's the builder then my I'll build sort him out later um, sorry about that so as I say four minutes of this this is your sort of as I say it's not long enough you'll just get to the end of this you'll feel nice and open up a bit of a sweat on we're gonna do a minute after that just easy and I'll talk you through the next one you just try, as I say, try and focus on this. This is bread and butter, really. You get fit off this stuff, but today's just an opener up. So another minute of this. We'll just take it up a slight bit again, but again, just focus on that RPM. If you notice, I'm just still down in that position, that tuck position. You know, just, you obviously could ride like that, it's, the effort is, but I'm just trying to get recruit all the muscles I would do the day before a race. You know, yes, it's easy. You could ride along like this all day, sitting up, and it's comfortable because you're at home. But just think about you know, engaging all these muscles as well because we're doing all this sort of recruitment for bike riding. But you know, just think about switching on your triceps and all these things that you know. If you're away in a breakaway or you're trying to beat your mates to a calf, you want to be as there as possible. You know, there's no point doing all this. Don't get anywhere. Plus you're going to wear your bike out. Notice how the cadence prep time, so I'm going to bring that down a bit. Because that's what happens. You try too hard with these things. Shouldn't be using your arms really. You should be able to do anything. Text, make a cup of tea. So, 
There we go. Four seconds. Just take it up a slight bit more, but keep that RPM. Focus on that position. Try and hold the position for two minutes now. Yeah, your arms might get a bit tight. You think, oh, I don't really need to. I can't sit like that forever, but do what you hate to do, like you love it. Otherwise, you're never going to get anywhere. The effort will start kicking in a bit now, so it's a bit more of a breathe on. It's not forever, it's only for another two minutes. So just think about holding everything. And you don't look at the clock. I've never understood why people look at the clock. It's too boring, I just can't do it. Time just passes so slowly. But don't look at the clock. Look at something else. Look at the RPM. Power record, when I did the record, don't look at the clock. Every lap we come around, 59 minutes, 58 minutes. Don't do it. Same on the turbo. Focus on other things. Focus on your effort. Hold your position. Then you look up, two minutes is passing. Oh, that was that went pretty quick. Exactly. One minute easy now. So it's just getting hard then, for most. Because yeah, it is hard, something. That type of effort is the sort of thing you could do for 45 minutes, an hour. Tour de France rides up to three hours, but obviously time and that. So just now come up, let your muscles recover. And then this next one, this is gonna be, this is capacity. This is the sort of thing you'd average, we try and do five minutes of this. This is like an individual pursuit. Um, you know, attacking into a last bit of a race. This is your all out, but there is still an element of control in it. So it's it's all out, but it's controlled all out. The thing with cycling is you can try too hard. Aesthetically, the ones who go the fastest normally look the best on a bike because they're challenging the energy for a bike a bit more. When you're driving down a motorway in a car, you don't sort of on and off the accelerate all the time. You just you slowly, everything you do is in slow squeezing moment, movements with the pedals. So try and think about that a bit more. Um, there we go, this is it now, one minute, don't look at the clock, shut your eyes if you have to, right, this should be starting to burn a little bit already, but just think when you get, this is just a, a taster for your session, or you race tomorrow, or if you've just been flat out all day working, kids, and you just want to do something to get a sweat on, feel like you've done something because you didn't train yesterday. You can't train tomorrow because you've got a kids' party. This is the one. Ten seconds. Five. Run off. That's it. Roll down for two minutes. And that's your session. It's right, haven't it? There you see. I'm doing nothing, isn't it? Enough of a sweat on. Feel good. You've got, if you're preparing for a race, you've obviously done everything you need to do during the week. You don't want to go out and test your form like most people do. So uh, this is just a really nice controlled way. You're going out with a group, everyone wants a half wheel you and you've got a race tomorrow, you don't really want to. But you have to show them, don't you? You have to show them how good you are. You know, so this is all about you, about tomorrow, about your effort, your session, whatever. If you're doing it before a session that you've got planned, you can coach or whatever, that's just a perfect warm up now. So 
just roll down for two minutes and uh, that's it. Like I say, you can do anything with that. You can use that as a session itself and do it again. Change the cadence, as I say, to make it a little bit harder. Change the powers, but just keep that structure. You've got a session there in itself. Time, time wise, you know, 20 minutes out of your life, you could do 40 minutes, you could do three of them if you've got time. And they're just great. I'm touching on everything there. Do it backwards if you like. Do whatever you like. There we go. Last 10 seconds. Now you can get on with your day. So, uh, all I'll say is, thanks for joining me. Thanks for joining the Cold Cycling. Watch out for a few more of these. There's going to be some crackers from a lot of legends. And I'll sign out. See you later. Thank you. God bless. <laughs>